Every time I come back to campus, Dr. Bay, one of the first things he says to me is, welcome home. My relationship dates back six or seven years. Um, I was introduced to Virginia State University by Todd Parnell, uh, Parney with the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Uh, brought me down here for a symposium, and I, my first introduction was as a keynote speaker at the Spring Symposium. One of the things that, that you know, I've, I've talked about in my trips to Virginia State is I will take away much more uh, than I leave behind. Pat and I, because of Dr. Bay, went to Virginia State University a few years ago, and that started Pat having a special relationship. And I fell in love with the place, I fell in love with the people, and I saw it as an opportunity for us to uh, have a mutually beneficial relationship. I don't care what you're doing, where you're at, if you work hard and keep your nose clean, good things will happen. As I was uh, launching a diversity program for minor league baseball, and as an HBCU, I thought that this was one, uh, a good source, but to a quality institution that was preparing its students for a future uh, at a level at which I found very attractive. And what am I going to have to invest in, on, in you, and you invest on getting better at, to move you into another category? During my time at Virginia State University, I actually had the opportunity to be engaged by minor league baseball. The good thing about um, Pat and my relationship is that from day one, before I, before day one, day one was this day two years ago. But even before I came to the office, we sat down and we, we, we were having heart to hearts before then. Um, part of the diversity initiative, which had launched before I came on board, I was Pat O'Connor would take his time to visit different historically black colleges and Virginia State was on the list. Uh, so I was kind of introduced to the game of minor league baseball during one of his campus visits. Pat, what you're telling these students uh, is really um, where the rubber hits the road. And Pat O'Connor gets it. No, it's truly a reciprocal relationship where uh, he is really genuinely given back to the university. It's very competitive. Every year he comes back and speaks with our students. But from a standpoint of competition, he talks to them about preparing themselves for the next phase of their life. I need the Jackie Robinsons of your generation. About being resilient. But I challenge you to do it. Truly a, a man of his word. 